Some great discussions this morning um, about our seven priorities and I think each of those groups identified some really clear um, actions that we can take forward um, uh, in relation to these different themes and, and more broadly. Um, and I guess one of the questions we wanted to kind of finish with, don't worry there's no more discussions, but um, yeah, what can and should come next to build a stronger public health movement? Um, and I think the discussion we had outside provided some yeah, clear directions in the way, the way they, you, I guess you themed those, Julia, in terms of you know, the, what's the process, um, what's the, um, the messaging that we need to adopt, what are the structural changes and the, and the relationships that we need to build. Um, so I think that provides yeah, some really good ideas for how we take the movement forward um, into the next phase. Um, I guess one of our um, key things is, is you know, what can we do individually and what can we do collectively. So um, as, as you leave, we're hoping that you might commit to one, well, I was going to say one thing, but actually two things. So one thing, or rather three things actually. Uh, one thing that you will commit to link to the actions priorities we've discussed. So in terms of either uh, this morning or, or the ideas that were generated outside um, is the one thing that you can agree to. And that might be in your existing role, where we're all recognised everyone's busy and has lots on, but um, is a one action that you can commit to um, in the short term to um, take forward the priorities we've discussed today. So that's, that's we'd like you to do that, and that's on the, the door. Um, you'll see it's the, on the left-hand door at the top. Um, so which Tony's going to point to? This one. Yeah, so if you take a post it and, and just commit to one thing that will advance the priorities we've discussed today, that'd be great. Secondly, um, thinking more collectively uh, is the one thing that you can commit to around building the movement. So, uh, you know, particularly thinking over the discussion we've just had uh, and some of the, the structural issues and um, relationship issues with this is the one thing that you can commit to. Um, you might have particular expertise in messaging, for example, um, and thinking about what Stephen was saying around you know, what, what helps with movement building. If you can commit to one thing in relation to uh, building the movement, that'd be great. And then the third thing is, um, it'll be, I think there's been tremendous energy in the room today, and, um, and actually when we've had previous PHM events, there's always been great, we've had tremendous energy. But we've, we've often found it difficult to sustain that. So I think we're keen to know what would get you back <laughs> um, and, and participate in building the movement. So we'd be really keen to hear, um, you know, maybe drawing on some of Steve's ideas. Um, and we were saying that actually, you know, he was saying we need to have more fun, which I'm sure is a, a key thing we could learn from. Um, so ideas for having fun, ideas for movement building, we'd be keen to hear those. So if you could, I know you've done lots of discussing and, uh, writing today, but if you if you could fill in three more post-its, one on you know uh, action priorities, one on uh, building the movement, and one on um, what we bring you back, that would be helpful um, to hear. I'll put this thing back. Up. Yeah. Okay. We'll put it back. Um, so just some, um, and maybe Tony will help me uh, with this. So first of all, thank you to everyone for coming today. Um, we realise it's, it's, there's lots of cool in terms of the, uh, the nice weather and other commitments, so we appreciate you giving up your day on a Saturday um, and participating so fully, so thanks to everyone for, for doing that. Um, a shout out to the Edge Fund, um, <laughs> yeah, so for, for helping to fund the event and, um, and for your general support, so thanks so much. And travel all the way up to London to, to join us, um, so that's, that's been fantastic. Um, yeah, do you want to, in terms of, just to see, uh, so, so yeah, social so, media presence? Um, we have also, I suppose, in terms of the thank you, so there's a lot of people who ran workshops and did other things who class themselves within PHM, some don't formally class themselves within PHM, so yeah, there's lots of people to thank, so yes. I think they all know who they are, and uh, they all have yes. run workshops, came to multiple Zoom meetings over the last nine months we will be kind of planning this event. So yeah, just anyone that's had anything to do with participating or helping us plan it, it's just been yeah, much appreciated. So. Great.
reminded me that um, in, 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 is there a financial slight financial shortfall? Any donations would be welcome for food if, but there's no pressure. So if, yeah. if you want to donate, where do we donate? So and, uh, there's a little box out next to the food, just as you walk out. There's a QR code there, or you can leave cash. Um, or if you want to take a Global Health Watch six foot, the donation is suggested ten pounds for that. So again, a QR code if you want to donate via PayPal. Yeah. So, um, but again, yeah, you can go to the website as well. There's things there, so and we will um, spend the money wisely. Um, and I, I noticed we've got the um, yeah, the website up. I guess it's very long. Yeah, it's very long. Yeah, yeah. What in terms of what in terms of what you might want to commit to uh, movement building? Um, we've had a, Tony and I had a discussion earlier. One thing might be just doing a blog about the, you know, things like that are quite helpful just to share your experience of being part of this, obviously uh, tweeting as well, but, you know, I think writing something down about today and the impact it's had on you or, or the, your thoughts on the movement would be would be helpful, so blogs are often a way of doing that. Do we yeah. they house those on our website? Yes, yeah, so we can do it on our website, so a lot of it feeds into PHM Global as well, so there's a lot of, kind of activities that will be leading up to the big kind of People's Health Assembly in December in Medellin and Colombia. Um, so again, we'll be doing monthly kind of things we're hoping to get kind of engage through blogs or video kind of narratives, whatever it may be, that people want to, to contribute, that anything would be welcome to get the word out there. And a thank you to the venue, to Civic House, oh, yeah. and for a wonderful lunch. Yeah, so that again, should be a good round of applause. <laughs> and, and thanks to the PHM Steering Group for organising, but um, there's always the danger of singling people out, but I think we should single out yes. Tony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, Tony will tell you, well, it's not the heavy lifting, I think, in relation to the And, um, I, he was described on Twitter this morning as the brilliant Tony Robertson, so I think from now on we're going to be known as the brilliant Tony Robertson. So, <laughs> so thanks very much. Um, so fill in your post-its and um, stick those as you're going out. Thanks again. Yep. Yes, yes, don't worry. Yeah, those are the three for points to be important. Thank you.